greetings and welcome to another evening hike apparently those evening hikes are way more um, attractive now as it is summer and it's more desirable to do do stuff um, at home during the day in the weekends today i'm heading around this this lake and i really hope you would join me even though it's quite windy <laughs> come on It's way more windy here than it was at home but uh, I've been in worse conditions than this <laughs> at least it's not raining I was actually arguing with myself today if I should do this or not because, well, I've been feeling rather down lately. And even though, as I mentioned before, even though I know I need this, it's so hard to get out and actually do this. This, this kind of ritual to cleanse the mind. And as mentioned, I need to do this. At least I've, I've made this my main medication, I think. And uh, it's quite important. So, here I am. Than not, I don't know what's triggering these periods that I'm feeling down, that my depressive periods, if you may. Um, and I don't think I don't think that it is something that's triggering them, those periods. I think more it's a it's a cycle that just it just comes and you have to deal with it not let it be you have to deal with it until it passes and uh, yeah don't give in to it but face it rather I think that's important to not give in to the dark thoughts but do stuff like this for me this is therapy and uh, others they need different things but this is for me and maybe not for others I made sure to soak myself in mosquito and tick repellent before I headed out today. 
but um, the wind helps a lot too. <laughs> when there's wind, there ain't no mosquitoes. This is, without a doubt, a very well maintained and marked uh, trail, which is nice for a change. Some of the, the routes that I chose choose is, uh, well, it's often more tracking than it is hiking. And sometimes, this is also very nice. Although I have to admit, I prefer to do it alone without any people around. <laughs> Hence why I walk either in the morning or in the evenings. Very few of my hikes is, is like an exercise. I prefer breathing the fresh air and gaining a little pulse, not too much, rather than not being able to enjoy what's around. This, around this, this lake is about three, 3.1 kilometers which is just perfect for an evening hike. <laughs> I've been out now for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I'm not running around. I'm just walking in a normal, comfortable pace. And already I am feeling that my head is way lighter than it was when I started, which is absolutely perfect. Just what, uh, what I intended, nothing is better. And I gotta say, along the way, this is probably the third, whoa, selfie sticks. <laughs> this is probably the third spot where I've come across a place to sit with a nice view. Someone is really taking care of this, this route, which is absolutely amazing. And here it says, 
Any form of open fire or flame is prohibited in the woods and fields between the 15th of April and 15th of September. And we gotta obey that. That's important. That is very important. This is just what I imagine it would feel like hiking through a path in, in some rainforest somewhere. <laughs> I've just come from this beautiful pine forest and um, into this very wet landscape. <laughs> so dr drastically and so quick, everything is changing just because of water and the rocks, the mountain. And of course, the sun. This is probably the spot on the lake that gets the least amount of sun, direct sunlight. And therefore, I don't know why it's more lush. Maybe just because of that no direct sunlight.
I'm hiking down this beautiful trail and now I'll be heading over there because there is a spot to sit and then <laughs> I see these clothes and I wonder what I see that it's old old clothes and there it says down by the water we can see the the remains of a shelf that was uh, made to make it easier for the women from a moon a farm or a, a community when they came here to wash the clothes on on good days and the clothes were washed they were rinsed and then they were hung up on um, strings in between the trees and then they went home and waited for the clothes to dry they went home to all the little kids and later on this spot that is now mostly used to bathing is called the washing spot or vaskeplassen huh. interesting interesting stuff Let's see if we can see that uh, little shelf. Maybe it's all gone now. It was probably down here or maybe over there. It's just what I need. It's not much. And it's not hard to achieve. But it's... It's just what I need. This is an evening hike after all, and it's getting closer and closer to the real evening. <laughs> it's now about eight o'clock and it's getting colder and colder and it's not really getting darker. It's because of the clouds actually. Um, the sun won't set before another two hours at least. But um, yeah, it's getting more and more unpleasant. I felt a few raindrops. And the wind is again coming back. I think I'll be heading further in now, trying to get the get to the car before before it all breaks loose. <laughs> 